Hey there and welcome, my name is Carlos Berris and let's start talking about what has been going on in the indie tabletop RPG scene. And as always, I'm not being directly sponsored by anyone mentioned here unless explicitly said or mentioned otherwise. Some links may be affiliate links so that they can benefit me without cost you anything extra, but probably not most of them, and either way, all the links will be in the description together with some timestamps so that you can jump to the time of your liking. And this time around, we start with a title from RPG C, the Southeast Asian scene. Ingat Ini is a submission for the BIPOC Vam Jam, and in this game by Bran, you play as vampires that can only remember some events and that uh, have collection of this chain of memories we'll try to make them forward or bring them forward. It is a gemless game that only uses D6s and the idea of trying to unravel these memories and discovering if you will be able to retain them, like if you will have the option of retaining your all memories, is a pretty interesting deal and a um, good kind of hook for me. From RPG Latam, this time around the Latin American tabletop RPG scene, we have Banner by Misha Panarin. Banner is a solo journaling game of anti-colonialism and historiography released as part of the Lost and Found Jam that we mentioned on the last episode or something. And it is, as you might expect, about a banner. Uh, people were exiled, but they still have this banner under which they can rally. And it begins as a simple embroidery, but can reach several meters long by the end of the game, so that you can just progress with the banner. This is the idea of the lost and found. Continuing with the Latam scene, Exalted Funerals, which is always contributing with the indie scene and has published physical versions of plenty of Latam titles, which I just am just exalted by that. But uh, a, part, a part of the Exalted Funerals one, there is a physical version of Riverbend. It is a fishing adventure and actually a hack from Tunnel Goons. You prepare for this fishing quest in which you have the goal to get enough food to feed your village. The PCs will face water monsters, find lost artifacts, perhaps, and to be assisted by cats that descended from the outer space. <laughs> this is just uh, icing on the cake. And you just have to play it because it sounds amazing and you can have a physical copy of it all. And during this week, there were Two releases by Monkey's Paw Games to complete the Little Coughing trilogy that you mentioned last episode. And it started with the Tomb of Theurge, that was the title that we already announced, but this time around we have two of new ones that are Secret Bastard Dungeon and Barrow of the Bugbear. The first one takes you on an exploration below the ruins of Summer Palace, where it is supposed to be the dungeon or laboratory of a former duke that tried to produce the perfect hair through forbidden magic, unfortunately. But this duke, or perhaps even their pro, was assassinated as soon as he managed it, breaking away in a sad lab like or dungeon, perhaps. You will try to find it out. The second one is a threefold pamphlet dungeon putting you on chase of a goat that is claimed by the bugbears that was taken by a wolf. However, the clues point otherwise and you will try to find it out if the bugbears are telling you the truth or not. About wolves because not all of them are taking some goats. Uh, actually, the well-known uh, Children of the Night, uh, but this time is Children of Midnight, Quick Start just launched, and it is looking so damn good. 
an interesting release using Forged in the Dark where PCs play as witches and their familiars forming a coven for mutual support in this world that we live in. We all need some support, right? And there is a lot of danger in every corner and nobody can live alone. Also, I love it, the photoshoot based art that that they use and that plays differently than the uh, regular ones that we can see in the indie scene with a lot of different hand-drawn artists and so on. So I really thought that this idea of bringing some photo shoots that was good for the space itself. Kiganex just put all his journaling games into a bundle where you can get 30 bucks worth of games by as low as five dollars. It is all his released journaling games, including his Russian Alone game that is the Necromancer, and all his Google Docs story game uh, that is called Fragmented. Just thinking about a Google Docs uh, journaling game is uh, satisfying for me as well. But you can have all of these games that are worth thirty dollars by five bucks. And since talking on bundles and sales, one of the main designers of Dread, uh, the horror game that uses the building blocks tower, Jenga, uh, with, he is with a sale and a bundle to help find, uh, get some funds for his medical cost on acquiring a new CPAP. And CPAP is a continuous positive airway pressure, a machine that helps someone with apnea to his lip. So, since uh, he lives in a country that does not provide that, uh, no universal healthcare. Uh, but beside the point, the bundle has every title at 30 per, uh, 20% off, or the whole bundle for 50 bucks. And you have plenty of issues of the World Without Master, that is a kind of zini that you can get for sword and sorcery, may, um, mostly. Wolf Spell, where you play as wolves in winter and also many more other titles and you can get there and help someone with their health bills. And a quick piece of news in Lay of Hands, the game that we mentioned last week, uh, but about a traveling healer, uh, the post-apocalyptic world and all of that, they released the SRD, uh, the system reference document, uh, as promised, as I mentioned last week, and now you can create games based on this D12 system. Bear in mind that this SRD is not simple rules uh, to try and teach you how to play the game, like some people think about SRDs. No, it is for creating other titles based on the system. And it also provides the on their own license for creating games that is based highly based on the Creative Commons Attribution 4.0 license, which is great. You should check it out and you should be aware of how licenses work if you are a creator. But now on threads and posts, first with a thread for the ones that have not that good time traveling Twitter. This is a thread that is mostly safe. This thread by Brian talks about the whole aspect of sanity mechanics and how they generally are pretty toxic and they encourage toxic behaviors, to say the least. But they also provide some different ways in this thread and how to try and approach and it is a very informative thread on how we can get this idea of the sanity in games. And I highly encourage you to read this thread, either if you like horror games or if you are thinking about playing one or creating one even more. So check this thread out because it's highly informative and it's a great one to just start on thinking about how sanity regularly works in tabletop games. On posts, because since I put a thread, I will not let you together just alone on Twitter. Post, we have the recent post that is from the Random Adventure Jam or based on it and many more people trying to 
Bring Guard Right Adventures for Games, Luke Gearing compiled a blog post with his steps on writing adventures. It offers some techniques to do it, or at least his way of creating adventures. It is an interesting one, not only for novice people trying to write their first titles, but also for anyone that's trying to write a title, they may find some blockings or they just want to try a different way. This is a great place to start. Okay, for today, I believe that's it. If you like the video, like the video, share, subscribe, you know how internet works. Let me know in the comments what you are liking about it, what you preferred of this episode, what you disliked about this episode as well. I am always open to criticism. You know that you can pay me a coffee on coffee. I'm trying to get a better computer because mine is suffering a lot. I am so happy that we are getting some milestones on subscribers. And you can support me also in itch.io with my games. And I will see you all in my next video. So, see ya! <laughs>